This is the plaintiff, Rosalie Cuesta. She says the defendant's a nasty neighbor who had her car illegally towed, and she has had enough of his constant harassment. She never did anything to him. She was forced to pay $246.09 for this bogus tow and is suing him here and now for the return of her hard-earned money. This is the defendant, Jesus Maldonado. He says the plaintiff blocked his driveway with her car because she likes to start up with him. And he simply called the cops and she was given a ticket. After that, the city came and told her car away. And now she's mad at him? Please. The plaintiff's the one instigating things. She blocked his driveway and got what she deserved. End of story. He's accused of getting into it with a neighbor. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says her neighbor had her car towed and she's just one big harasser. But the defendant says the plaintiff was blocking the driveway so tough, it's the case of you driving me crazy. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay, Ms. Cuesta, you are suing Mr. Maluanado for $246.09, which is the money that you paid to a tow truck company that towed your car when he called them. Okay, what happened? My... Mom owns a property across the street from the Maldonados, and there's hardly any parking on the block. And my brother was parking there prior to them becoming homeowners, and then when they became homeowners, it became an issue. So Parking where? In the parking spot. But, but where, the parking where, spot's not an issue. The driveway blocking is an issue. The driveway curb extends, it's supposed to be an eight-foot curb and it extends nine feet further. Further? Yeah. It's supposed to be an eight foot driveway? Yes. And it's how long? 15. Okay, that's not nine feet further, but okay. So it's an ad so there's an additional five, six, seven feet of driveway that there shouldn't be, you're saying? Right. How did, when did you find that out? Uh, if, when my vehicle was towed, I went to the councilman's office and I asked for their assistance and they contacted But the did you have a suspicion that it was that it had been cut wider than allowed? It looks wider. Everyone parks there. No one's been towed except my car. Did they have something against you? I have no idea. I know when my brother was parking there, um, I can't re repeat the two words that his wife called my brother as he was leaving the parking space. Son of? No, F. Oh. And then okay. the second <laughs> words. All right, just, all right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> On another occasion, he was sitting in his car in my mother's driveway. She stood across the street, took out her cell phone, was taking pictures of him, and after that, we got a call. An inspector showed up from the Department of Buildings. Someone anonymously called and stated that my mother had an illegal apartment. And um, my and mother- And did she? No. Okay. My mother's 94 years old. Okay. The reason I'm there is she's currently on hospice. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. She has advanced Alzheimer's, aortic stenosis. Okay, okay. So there's no question that you parked it going into the driveway that's there, correct? I, uh, a my, few feet into the driveway that's there. Yeah, it, it appears that it's... Do you have a picture of how her car was parked? You actually have a picture. Before you called the cops, you, you took a picture, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is an actual picture. This is your driveway, which is a 15-foot driveway. All right, so the car is parked over. According to them, you let other people do it. You just don't like them for some reason. Is yeah. that true? No, I let everybody park there. Okay. But that there, as you can see in the picture, is not only her car. I towed both of their cars. Why would you tow this car? This car's like one inch in. Because I couldn't get out. Why can't you get out? What do you drive? A, a Mack truck? I mean, you can you can get out of there. Come on. I, God forbid if I would have hit his, uh, her car. Yeah. I would have been so, uh, getting sued for hitting her car. Yeah, but a car, car fits purpose. in between those two cars. In the, I mean, from looking at these pictures, a if, car if, fits. If it would have, the cops would have never. Why gave don't you like them? You're entitled to not like them. It's okay. Is there has there been some bad blood? Is this your wife? Yes. Okay. So uh, has there is there like a perennial problem with this family parking there? Is that what's no. going? Everybody from, like she said, the block parks there. There's never been an issue. What started it about March was she approached me and she asked me, 
not to park there because I have a driveway or not to block or park in front of my house. To be respectful, we have a driveway and her mother's elderly and not to use street parking and all of a sudden. Wait, but they're doing it. Yeah. You have a parking space, space and yet and you have a, a second car, so mm -hmm. you want to use off street parking. Yes. Did I speak? Right. Is that a yes or a no? I never said that to her. Okay, that's <laughs> fine, but uh, you do have two cars, so one of them parks in the street, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead. She, I forgot the word that was used, something about ridiculous, that we shouldn't use that space. And I said, what's ridiculous is that your brother constantly parks in front of the house and blocks my driveway. So that's what's ridiculous. Okay. Then a week later, we got called by DOB. You got cited for having an illegal driveway. Yes. Because your driveway is uh, almost double what it can be. Yes. Right. Um, I presume that you bought the house that way. Yes. But nonetheless, you have an illegal driveway. Correct. And so what the no, government... No, 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 yes, you do. Problem. I've seen the citation. You have to remedy it. Right? right? Well, we went to the OB. We got it dismissed. Oh, tell me about that. So if a driveway is too big when you buy it, it doesn't fit the zoning laws, is it your problem when you buy the house or is it the prior owner's problem? It's the prior owner's problem because they should have disclosed that to you before they sold you the house. But if they didn't and the city says, uh-oh, who's responsible? Is it you or the prior owner? It's you because you bought the house and you're taking all the problems along with the house. I think you're right, going inside the courtroom. We went to DOB, we had the hearing, and they dismissed it and there was no correction. They dismissed it, why? I don't recall I don't the know. reason why. Can I see any paperwork you have to show why? Did they tell you you had to fix it anyway? No. When did this happen? You were told when? September 16th. Has there been a September, has there been a second citation issued to you? Yes. Yes. After she was told. I knew it, okay. The day after. She gets told. She goes to the councilman's office and says, what the heck? And there is another citation. Legal curb cut leading to garage is shown on plans as eight feet long, not including splays. Current curb cut is 15. So it's actually, you know that it's non-conforming. You got lucky and it got dismissed. And then you call to get them towed and bring this down on yourself again. Sounds like a bad idea, right? So it's not even like I can say at the time that you request the tow, you don't know that we have a problem. You do know because you got cited for it and had to hire a lawyer. Wow. You actually have a security camera on your house? Yeah, we have. Because cars. of problems with them or just reason? No, just, we've no had security them. reasons. So this is your car getting towed? Yes. So he could have just called my cell phone. Well, he could have, but that no, doesn't I, make I it. Understand. Look, either you can park there or you can't. How do I know how many feet in she was? When I look at the picture, I'm supposed to figure out if that's the legal part, the illegal part. She's supposed to know it. When's this picture from? That's the day you get towed. Right. I can't believe you called for a tow when you know that the next thing she's going to do is call them and come out. You know she's going to do that. She just did it a few months earlier. Don't you think in your head, oh, she's just going to do it again, and I may not. Oh, you guys are crazy. All right, uh, but based on what I'm looking at, um, I am going to order them to pay you the cost of the tow because legally speaking, you may not have even been in violation. And they know that, and yet they called and had the tow on you. $246.09 verdict for the plaintiff. Thank you. All right, both sides, hold on, please. So the plaintiff prevails, the Maldonados are going to have to pay her for the tow. That was a bad idea now, when you think about it, wasn't it? Yeah. I guess so. And what are you going to do about your driveway? We'll see what happens when we go to court for that. No, you're going to have to have it changed. I guess so. We'll see what happens. You got time. it tossed out once, right? Yeah. But then you got cited again, so you're going to go through all that again. All right. I guess so. Well, good luck to you. Thank okay. You. Sorry. That's all right. Okay, Ms. Cuesta, Hello. good for you to come back to court. You, you did the right thing. I think I did. Was it a tough decision to, to come to court? No, it was, uh, it was something I had to do. There was other ways to, uh, to handle this. He, had, he has my cell number. Yeah. He could have knocked on, rang the bell, and uh, he knows the situation with my mom. She's, you know, very sick. So it was, I believe it was an intentional act. Well, you still got to live with them. They're still going to be your neighbors, right? If I were you, I'd be careful parking. I'm always careful. Good. That's okay. why I came here. Good for you. Congratulations. Spoke the truth. Good enough. Thank you, you sir. You're very welcome. Have a good day. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye-bye.
Doug, I got to tell you, this is a perfect example because we've seen a lot of these cases that if you have somebody's car towed, you better make sure you are 100% correct.